I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show off, because, right, right, boys, I'm just gonna be playing this on max settings, max settings. Right, so as you can see, everything's on epic, everything's on epic, all of this. And, with the new GPU, we get new settings, okay? If you put DirectX 12 on, on the new GPU, you get... There's latency markers. I I don't I'm not I'm not I don't really know what it does, but you get Nvidia Reflex low latency, right? Which is pretty cool. Uh, Nvidia Reflex low latency reduces system latency in GPU bound scenarios. So I've got that on plus boost, All right? Um, and we've got DLSS, right? This is this is cool. This is cool. This is cool. So as you guys can see, I'm on 100 FPS now because I'm on literally everything max settings. This is the best the game will ever look, right? And if I turn off the ESS, it's going to be even lower. Look, if you go, if you turn it off, look at my FPS, right? Because I'm literally on max settings. So then if you turn it on, I get boosted like 60 FPS. Look at that. I'm on 100 FPS now. In today's video, guys, I'm going to be showing you how to actually use the DLSS setting in Fortnite, no matter what graphics card you have or PC you have. And you can also use it while being on Direct 11. It raises your fps a ton and it has helped me out so much because i have a medium range pc i don't have one of these beastie rtx graphic cards um, and beastie cpu and now i get a lot more fps than what i was getting and it's a lot more stable um, so to do this guys go ahead and press your windows start button and r at the same time and then in this box here type percent app data percent and then right at the top here it's going to say app data give that a click guys and then um, give local a click that is very important you don't want any other one and then in this folder make sure you find fortnite game go ahead and open up that folder and in here it should only really say saved so click save and then um, you're going to want to click on config and then in here it's going to say windows client and then you're now at the settings that you want to be at so you're going to want to click on game user settings but you want to right click it first and make sure the read only box is unticked all right if it's already ticked make sure you untick it and apply it if it's already unticked, then just open up this setting page right here. Now, when you're in here, guys, there's going to be two main settings, or sorry, there's going to be three main settings that you must change, okay? You can go ahead and copy down some of my other settings if you obviously want to, but that is entirely up to you. I'm going to be telling you the settings to change to put the DOSS setting on, and it, is, it generally helped me out so much. I'm not lying when I say this. It generally did. Um, so, yeah, right here, it's going to say Latency Tweak 2, okay? Um, not B latency tweak. It's going to say latency tweak 2. You're going to want to change that to 2. So make sure it says equals and then 2. Okay. Ray tracing right here that I'm highlighting. Make sure you change that to false. Yours should say true. Put it to false guys. Okay. And then the last one under here is going to be DLSS quality. Make sure you put that to 1. Now what that's doing is setting the DLSS setting to performance. Alright. If you put it to like 3 or 2 it's going to go to quality. And it will make your game look better. But obviously in this situation we want it to performance. So we can get a lot more FPS. And actually play the game with a good performance. Um, so yeah once you've done that guys. That is literally it. Like I said you can copy some of my other settings. If, you, you know, like, if you'd like to. You don't need to but you can. And uh, yeah once you've done that. Go ahead and click file. And then just save. That is all you need to do. Click file then save. And then once you've done that guys. What you want to do is re-right click the game user settings. And make sure you click read only. That is very important that you tick that. And then click apply and then OK. And then you are ready to load up Fortnite guys. So once you load up Fortnite guys. There are going to be two things that you should see. That are 100% not the same. Um, and you're going to be seeing this change in your settings. Um, now you can watch any pro streamer. You can watch Benji. Anyone that has the setting on. When it is on. It does not let you change your 3D resolution. And it also turns off your anti-analyzing I believe. Or something like that. Um, so as you can see right here. It says 3D resolution. It says you must turn off DOSS mode. For you to basically change that. And also anti-analyzing is off. And says the same. So that's how you know if it's on or not. If it's worked. If it hasn't. Then you've obviously not done something correct guys. I have a 1050 Ti in my PC guys. So I do not have the graphics card to technically run it. And as you see there as well, it was also on Direct 11. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you the FPS that I now get. Bear in mind guys that I'm also recording on OBS as well. So I'm also straining my PC there as I don't have the best CPU. So I would get a bit more FPS if I wasn't recording is basically what I'm trying to say. Um, but yeah, enjoy the video guys. Um, I really do hope you enjoy what you're about to see and I'll see you in the future. Sweet. Peace.